What's going on fellow Codian Pirates? In the last episode we created the blog section of our website and in this section I will teach you how to install a contact form plugin and also how to configure it to look quite similar to below. So if you're interested in learning please continue to watch. So let's get started. Let's open up our code editor and go into the home page. Scroll down past everything we've created so far and add a new section. So you should be used to this by now. Section, section gray. Close the section and comment it off. Create a container inside here. Comment the container off. And finally create a div class of center center text with a h2 inside of this h2 and use the title contact us today or now because you want them to take make an action and underneath in the design there's some text to learn more about our service offerings and industry expertise or to have contact us directly anytime okay to learn more about our services send us a message today and come out of this center text and create a new div div class and we'll call this contact form and the reason why we're creating this div is so that we can style the inner uh, you know the inner form so save that and just save in and refresh the page let's see what we're left with now okay so our new section is in We've got a nice spacing going on and we've got our little message underneath and now we need to add the contact form. So to add the contact form, we could program it ourselves, but sometimes it isn't worth doing so as other people have created more robust solutions. So this contact form here, we can create this using a plugin called contact form seven. Now WordPress has many amazing plugins, which you can use to um, increase, you know, the usage of your site, make it do what you want to do basically. And contact form seven is one of the major plugins. I think that most people turn to when they're in need of a contact form. So you can either go to their website and then go to the WordPress directory or simply go to the second one here. And you should come to this page, which is contact form seven by Takayuki Mayoshi. I hope I'm saying that right, I probably am not. So click download and it'll download to your computer. And then to install this contact form, go to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add new, upload plugin, and then drag the folder which you just downloaded to choose file. And then click install now. Okay, click activate plugin. And contact form seven is now installed. So on your left hand side, you can now see this contact here. So click or hover over this and click contact forms. And you should have one by default called contact form one. Click edit on this. Change the name to contact and then down here, delete all of this and we'll create our own contact form. So in our design, we have three for, uh, sections which are in line with each other and then we come down and we have a message box. So let's do that first of all. So do div class inline form 
and close this div off. We want to comment this time because uh, it's a little bit more difficult when you're in this WordPress editor. So create a p tag and then click text. Mark this as a required field and rename this to person name. And then the default value set this to enter your name. And then use this text as a placeholder of the field. Click this, insert the tag, and then close off the p, p tag. Open the p tag, and this time we need to have an email address. Actually, we first need to add in a, uh, a label for name. So write in name and then br line or slash and then that. So that this br tag is a line break, which will put this on a new line. So let's do the same for email. So email br tag and then click the email option up here. Mark this as a required field. Put this as person email and enter, oh, enter your email. Use this as placeholder, insert the tag, close the P off. And finally, purpose of contact, okay. P tag purpose. Is that what it said? I think it is. Purpose of contact. Of contact. BR. And then drop down menu. And we can say um, reason. Just reason. Right. Options could be business inquiry. Customer services, sales, inquiry, or other. Mm, yeah, insert the blank item as the first option. Insert that tag, and then close that P off. Right, come outside of this div now. This is very important. And create a P and message. BR slash and then uh, where is it by text area we won't require uh, make this a required field because not all uh, all the time people want to send us a message mm, I think yeah actually we will because it kind of doesn't make sense otherwise and we say person message enter a message enter your message and use this as a placeholder close this P and finally add another P tag but this time give a class of no margin this is because the P tags will have a margin and it looks funky on the last one so no margin click the submit button and we'll say uh, send insert that tag then close the P off click the save button up here on your right hand side Now finally, to get this to work in our theme, copy all of this text here, everything inside this blue box, go to your file editor and copy this code. So it's php echo do underscore short code, open up brackets, create two quotes and then post uh, paste rather the text we copied just now. I know single quotes and paste once again then semicolon question mark and then that and what that will do is um, insert this contact form into our template so now go back to the site scroll down and our form is in you. But as you can see right now, it's not like the design and that's because we haven't styled everything yet. So, let me 
me just check. Okay, and then that line form can be of a bit of a pain, so we'll just go through this and hopefully it will work. Okay, so first of all, let's create the contact form class. So contact form, whoop. and we may not need to do that like that, so we'll get rid of that. Contact form input and do contact form message area and write width 100% box sizing order box moz box sizing order box and finally o box sizing order box and then set the padding to 10 pixels. Save that. What was that? That was this. Mm, I don't think that one will have picked up the changes. Yes, okay. So let's just find out what this is. This is select box, but. Okay, it's a select. Cool. So a comma in here and write contact form and I realize we spelled that wrong contact form select and now that should also have okay cool now we may need to add individual classes to these to give them a width of 33 percent but let's see inline form okay let's try something first inline form and we can say p width 33.33 percent float left and let's try that first of all Okay, great. Mm. I think we may need to add the box size on the box size in rather. Box size in order box, then padding ten pixels. This may not work, we'll see. Okay, yeah, worked perfect. And okay set the height of this select areas are usually uh hard to style in contact form 7 actually so height let's set 40 pixels one two three four five and we'll go from there 45 or 47 okay so we need to add a height and a background color so it it looks similar to the rest of the form contact form select add those two cla uh, styles in great okay so that's in line but what you can see here is because we've added padding this now the name section and the purpose of contact on your right hand side there's a 10 pixel space in you which we don't want because the message box underneath goes right to the very end of the container so what we can do here we added uh, a class around this inline form and because we've set a padding of 10 pixels we can set a minus margin of 10 pixels on the left and the right so it pulls it out and it should look like nothing has changed on the left and the right hand side so let's try that inline form margin so zero for the top and the bottom and minus 10 for the left and the right. 
And let's see if that works. It should do. Yes, so now this is in line with the left hand side and the right hand side. Perfect. And this message box here is too high compared to the design. So let's stick a height on that. So contact form and message area. And you'll notice there's no uh, period signs in front of the message area, the select, or the like. It's similar to the P tag, I suppose, because they're actual elements and not classes. And height, let's say 100 pixels. This is just a guess, and we'll go from there. Hmm, that didn't seem to work. Text area. Oh yes, my bad. Have you called? Where have I been naming this? Message area. This is a text area, guys. Text area. And up here. So I was wondering why there's no pattern on it. So okay, that should be fine now. Much better. Okay, so let's look at the design and see how this looks. So we've added a white background to this. We didn't need to, so <laughs> we'll take that off. Okay, so let's go to this and add a background. Let's take the white background out of here, which we didn't need and let's add a margin top to this of 10 pixels so it gives a bit of space like the design okay great The only thing left now is to style this send button. As you can see, it's 100% width, and that's because we've set uh, the other elements to 100%, but this can easily be changed. And to do that is contact form, and then this class WP contact form seven submit. And we can say width inherit um let's find out the yellow background color i keep forgetting oh we can actually do is steal the code from button yellow and button okay let's do it one at a time so we can put that code in from the button yellow and now we can get the code from the button so it should in theory look the same I believe uh, contact form seven has some uh, normal styles already in there, so that might cause it to look slightly different. So we may have to edit it more. Okay, that was a tongue twister, but okay. Okay. Okay, so we can see there's a border on there. We need to take this border off and we also need to center the button like in the design and possibly make it bigger. Okay, so in your border none um, display line block margin auto that may put it central for us and let's change the font size 22 pixels and let's see how that looks okay that's way too big just get the size in correct first of all so we've got 22 right now maybe probably 18 okay that's fine no it's actually smaller isn't it 
try set for no same thing. And finally, contact oh, from no margin set margin auto. No, I done it wrong. Margin zero auto because we don't want any margin on the top or the bottom, and then we want to centrally align it. No, oh, it hasn't worked. <laughs> okay, what's, what's going on? Oh, okay. My bad. Margin zero. And text align center. And let me just make sure this is the right text because this looks a little bit. Let's add, let's find out what the the heading font was and we'll add that to all the buttons as well. So let's scroll, uh, font family is Roboto or Roboto. Okay, so let's add that to the buttons. Where's the button? Okay, so add this to the button, to all the buttons, and also our contact form button, which is a separate button, so we need to style that as well. Save this. Refresh the page. And now we have new text on the buttons. I think it looks slightly nicer. And yes, we have our contact form in. So now, we can send a message. And if we go to our back end, go to uh, contact, click on the form you created earlier. If you click on this mail section here, you can fill in all your details there. So you can put in um, whatever your email address is. So your email at gmail.com. And then you wanna make sure that these fields here, so your name matches up with the, uh, the ones we created. So the from field would be from person name. The subject, you can just say business in, uh, inquiry or, or maybe email from your website inside here you want to uh, change this one to match the email we created so a person email and in here then is the actual message that will get sent to you so change this from your name person name person email oh make sure it uh, it's capitalized the correct way as well guys because otherwise it won't get sent to you there's an email uh, subject I think this was oh no website inquiry I don't know get rid of all this and you can write your own so the following message was sent from your website and you can say uh, name and then say Person name email person email reason for contact reason oh. and what was the last one person message so you can say message and then come underneath because it could be a long message and person message and then click the save button down here
So all of our fields have been used. Um, so when any mug is sent to you, then guys, it will it'll be from whoever filled in the form and their email address. The subject will always be website inquiry because that's what uh, we've programmed it to do. And then it'll give you the message that was sent. So once again, it'll tell you who it is from, their email, the reason why they're contacting you. And don't forget, these are the, um, the form fields on the form and then the actual message that person has sent. So as long as you save that, guys, these messages will then get sent to you. So let's have a look what we created in this uh, episode. So you can see we've created quite a lot of the site now, guys. And the contact form is up and running. If we look at our design, we only have the footer to build next. And then after that is done, we'll go through the, uh, the entire site and polish it up. So it looks more like this one, functions more like this one. So we'll get into the details. We'll uh, create this section here. We'll add in all the little icons. Maybe uh, I'll create a logo so you can use on your site. Um, what else can we do? We'll stick this image in. Maybe we'll create a signature for this. We'll make this uh, slightly nicer. We'll get this testimonial part to work. We'll get the ticker boxes to count up. We'll add some logos in here. And that will be it for the next tutorial. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, guys, please give me a like. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when the next tutorial comes out. Thanks very much once again for listening and watching. Thank you.